In this video, we're going to do a quick tour of the WordPress dashboard so you know where to find everything you need to build a website. Later in this series, we are going to go into each part that you will need to know how to use to set up different parts of your website. So my intent here is just to get you familiar with the dashboard itself. Starting from the very top, you will see the name of your website and you'll be able to click on visit site to go to the live version of your website if you want to quickly see changes. When you're logged in, you will also find this button on your live website and it will allow you to quickly return to your dashboard. Next, you'll see this is the number of plugins that are going to need updated and we'll talk more about that in a bit. If you allow comments, on your website, you will be able to see how many need for you to go in and approve them before they will appear on your website. Selecting the new menu will allow you to quickly create a post, add an image or video under media, a new page, or a new user. If you are shopping for themes or for WordPress services, this is uh, one of the places where you can go, but we'll talk more about some other places you can grab great themes as well. Now. When you first log in, you'll see something that looks like this on your screen. With a fresh install, they'll give you the next steps that you can take to set up your website. You'll also see where you can enter a title along with a quick draft of a post. So if you have something in mind and you just want to quickly enter the, the idea, you can do that here. You can see how many pages, posts, comments are published on your blog at any time. But if you want to customize the way your dashboard looks, you can do so by clicking on screen options and you can select or deselect what you would like to have appear on your dashboard. You can also drag and drop them into any order that you'd like them to appear. Now on the left hand side, we have a navigation bar where you'll find everything that you're going to need. Starting with posts. This is where you will be able to get a list of all of the blog posts that you have on your site. If you want to add a new one, if you want to create categories in order to separate the different posts, you can do so. Media, again, this is where you're going to be able to add music files, image files, videos. All of that is going to be in your media section. Pages, again, this is similar to posts. We covered that. You'll be able to see a full list of all of your pages as well as add a new one quickly. Comments, again, just like at the top, you'll be able to go in and see which comments have been added, which comments need for you to approve them. You'll be able to see a list of all the comments that have been added to your site. So if you would like to respond to the comments, you can do so here. Marketplace, again, this is if you're looking for particular services, this is one option for purchasing them. Appearance, this is where you really get into how your website actually looks. This is where we are going to work on the particular theme that you use. We're going to customize the theme. We'll be using widgets to update your sidebar and other areas of your website. You'll create your menu here. If your particular theme allows for you to customize more of your header, your background, you're going to see some of the options here. Once you install a theme, whether you select a free or a paid theme, you'll often find the theme customization options listed under this appearance menu. So we'll be coming back here. Plugins, again, this is what is going to add the functionality to your site. This is another fun section. So if you're going to add a shopping cart or an appointment calendar or a contact form, a Facebook like box, all of those things that add functionality to your website, you'll be able to install new plugins. You'll be able to see what plugins you already have. You'll be able to update the settings or delete the plugins that you no longer need. Users. If you will be having a multi-author website, this is where you can go to create multiple users and give them specific permissions. Tools is something you probably won't use too often, but we will cover that in a future section as well. Settings is something you will want to go into for every site that you create because this really sets up how visitors can use your site, how things should be written on your site, how things should be displayed, what URLs you'll be using. There's a lot that is defined in the settings. So we'll go through that as well. 
So this was a quick overview of the WordPress dashboard. Now that you've had a quick tour of the WordPress dashboard, let's go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at each part and see exactly how you can start setting up your own website now.